this is ATG Grid News. I am Miss Sony. I am Zach Haiku. I am Catherine Llewellyn. Our top stories. 2023 SL Renaissance Festival supports MSABC with Medieval Entertainment until October 1st. SL Aviation Network's Challenge certifies pilots for long-distance grid flights. New embassy inaugurated in Zindra, enhancing relations between SL continents. Hello and welcome to ATG Grid News. The 2023 SL Renaissance Festival, coordinated by the American Cancer Society in support of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, MSABC, is open until October 1st, 2023. The festival, located near American Cancer Society's SL base, features a myriad of merchants, activities, and entertainments from the medieval Renaissance periods under the theme, Coming Home. Visitors can refer to the official festival website for details on participating merchants, entertainment schedules, tournament schedules, and participation details by lindens and moles. The festival also hosts raffles and a Linden Lab-sponsored silent auction, closing at 1800 SLT on September 30th. Roleplay enthusiasts and treasure hunters can also find dedicated pavilions and events, contributing to a rich tapestry of experiences, all aimed at raising awareness and funds for breast cancer research and treatment. The SL Aviation Network presents the Intercontinental Grid Flight Challenge, a program designed to certify pilots capable of long-distance grid flights within Second Life. Open to any SL pilot, Participants are required to undertake a specified long-distance flight planned out by themselves, accompanied by a certified check pilot. The challenge allows for the use of single or multiple aircrafts, each equipped with an enabled fuel system, and mandates completion of all refueling stops, even if it requires resin personal fuel stations. The extensive flight typically spans a minimum of three hours, but can be completed in two legs within 48 hours. Crashes, rest breaks, and relogs are accommodated within specified guidelines. Successful pilots earn a certificate of completion, a spot on the Wall of Fame at the Jinsel International Airport, and bragging rights. Interested pilots can contact Luke Flywalker Fittinger to arrange their flight. Addressing last week's reports on Unity changes, Callisti, the mind behind Crystal Frost, has shed light on the prevailing misconceptions surrounding the alterations. Callisti emphasized that the modifications solely impact large, highly successful studios and do not pertain to smaller entities or individual creators like themselves. Crystal Frost remains unaffected as it doesn't meet the user or financial thresholds set by Unity. Calisti further explained that even surpassing these thresholds would imply sufficient revenue to cover any associated fees. In essence, those who find themselves concerned about the changes are likely not the ones affected by them. Unity has disseminated the revised policy via email to clarify the specifics. The inauguration of a new embassy linking the adult SL continents of Zendra and Horizons took place last Wednesday, making a significant stride in intercontinental relations. The CEO of BBB, Bell, expressed gratitude to Rascal and Kiki for land donations and to Abner Moll for his continuous support. Abner, who doesn't shun adult content in SL, handed over the embassy keys to the honorary ambassador, Rascal Starlight, emphasizing the importance of responsible incorporation of adult experiences in SL. Rascal, in her acceptance speech, voiced her ambition to enhance intercontinental relations and promote responsible adult communities, focusing on more than just adult nature of Zendra. The event concluded with celebrations in the Embassy's Garden, and residents of Zendro Horizons can now acquire a passport 
from the newly inaugurated embassy. On September 15th, the BBB reached a significant milestone, issuing its 500th version 3 passport to Furious Soup a resident and citizen of Belisaria, bringing the total number of version 3 passports in use to 529. This achievement marks a notable advancement for the BBB and its affiliates. With the recent inauguration of the Embassy of Isindra and Horizons, a new passport has been introduced for the adult continents, adding to the existing variety available for different regions, including Belisaria, CDS, and Planet Tambalia, amongst others. Residents can apply for these passports at the corresponding embassies, facilitating travel and exploration across diverse continents and regions in Second Life. This has been ATG Grid News. Enjoy the grid.